Hey everyone, it's Shub. Oh my god. It's literally like a minute till, <laughs> till the direct starts. Oh, it's nine o'clock. Wow, okay. I get to watch the direct right when it happens for once. Woohoo! But I gotta say, I just got done taking like a massive dump, so I'm, <laughs> I'm very glad I made it on time. Uh, good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Oh, shit. I have no expectations. Just don't be like 20 farming simulators. What is this? Hold up. Are they re are they remaking a Mario and Luigi game in 3D? Are they bringing back that bejeweled game that was on the 3DS? Oh! So... Oh! I didn't see a title there. Is this just straight up a brand new Mario and Luigi game? That's kind of what it looks like to me, but I haven't touched the franchise in a while, so I might just be going crazy. Yeah, this this looks like just a legitimately new Mario and Luigi game. Interesting. Okay. You notice how tame my reaction is compared to, like, the Mario vs. Donkey Kong remake? This is the kind of RPG I'd be down for, though, to be honest. So, we basically got all the classics back, right? We've got Super Mario RPG from the SNES. We've got the Thousand Year Door from the GameCube. And now... We've got a brand new Mario and Luigi game. That's that's pretty fire, not gonna lie. And I'm so glad, even though they transitioned to 3D, like real 3D, that th they've kind of kept the same art style, basically to a T. Brother, that was some shit from Mario Strikers. Yeah, it's just a brand new game. That dope. And it's coming out this year. Actually, very great way to start Hello, the direct. Everyone. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dude, I bet the Mario and Luigi fans are going crazy right now. <laughs> Give me some good stuff, Takahashi. All right, we're going... They ended up announcing this on Twitter a while ago. This looks pretty dope, not gonna lie. This was a really dope concept whenever they did the NES Remix games. I, d I just don't know if it's like a must-buy for me, you know? What is cool is that you can do like, what, eight player split screen or something? It's some insane amount of people that you can all do this at the same time. Excuse me? Wait, did they just do a whole ass speedrun of Mario Bros? That's pretty dope, not gonna lie. Where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. Oh, that's actually really dope. Not gonna lie, I really like that. And we've got deluxe sets. That is just wonderful. I feel like not enough game companies do those these days. Why is it that Nintendo can make such great looking games for the Switch, but then when other companies decide they want to make a game, it always looks horrible. So this is the uh, second JRPG. You should know by now that with all the directs I've reacted to on this channel, I don't play these. I really doubt there's going to be anything crazier than the new Mario and Luigi game. Um, ha, ha, hold on. Shut your mouth, Shub. <laughs> they added basketball. Okay, okay. I will take that. Honestly, if they were gonna add a new sport, this is the one. I, I'm a fan. Like, I get this game didn't have a great reputation because of the sports mates, but it's very fun. <laughs> I, I've had a lot of fun playing the golf and the tennis and all that with friends. I don't play a lot online, but whenever people come over, it's pretty much been a staple game. Hey, we can just say that NBA Jam is back. <laughs> and it's coming this summer. Hell yeah. Mountain Slam is gonna be so hype about that. <laughs> you already know. What? There's no way. Is this a new Donkey Kong game? Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system. Oh, shh. Nintendo Switch in HD. Oh, I feel so bad for the Donkey Kong fans. Oh, no. Listen, I haven't seen Donkey Kong Country Returns gameplay in a while, so I can't tell immediately if this is a full-on remake or if it's just, like, an HD remaster, but... Oh, that sucks for you guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, it doesn't even come out this year, man. Dude, you Donkey Kong fans have been down bad. Okay, so if they're calling this HD and it's basically just a remaster, that must also be the case for DKC Returns. It is just a remaster. It's not a complete from the ground up remake. Wait. Oh, gosh dang it. I really thought that they would be bringing Tomodachi life back. Maybe this is prepping us for that. These aren't me's, but they, they kind of did look like me's, not gonna lie. Either that, or they're just, like, tempering our expectations. Ooh, are we getting, like, Smash 64 or something? Oh. 
GBA. All right. I guess for the people that like the GBA the versions of Nintendo those games, there you go. Nintendo Switch Online what? Mature 17 plus collection of games. A mature game? Literally Interlock. never Dinosaur heard of this. Hunter. Never heard of this. And Smash 64. Perfect dark, really? And it has widescreen support. That's actually pretty sick, not gonna lie. And it's available today. Whew, what are we at? Five JRPGs now? Are they remaking another Mario Party? Is this a new Mario Party? It's a new one? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh, it's a Super Mario Party. Uh oh. This might be bad. That scared me for a little bit. I, I was scared they'd make Island Tour. These game boards are pretty sick so far, not gonna lie. They have five game boards at launch, two remakes. That's seven courses. That's more than you ever got in Super Mario Party. Oh, that one looks like it sucks, man. Okay, these look decent, not gonna lie. Of course, haven't played them, but what is this? Huh? And they aren't gonna say anything else? Maybe we'll get a direct about it later or something, but that actually doesn't look that bad. At least everybody isn't in a car again, like in Mario Party 9 and 10. They're remaking another Legend of Zelda in this style? <laughs> oh, he looked incredibly stupid, dude. Whenever they remade Link's Awakening in this style, I was I was such a fan of that. I'm so glad they're sticking to it. Wait, is this gonna be a Zelda-focused adventure? Echoes of Wisdom. Really? I did not expect that. This is the latest installment in the franchise? Whoa. That's cool. Hey, now the series lives up to its name. It is The Legend of Zelda. <laughs> They're giving us a demonstration. I will take it. Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Hmm. Once you, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Huh. Like, That's like a slightly different version of boxes. what they were trying out in Tears of the Kingdom with like Ultra Hand and Fuse. Actually, it's not really like that. It's a little more just like Minecraft creative, if that makes any sense. Like you see something, boom, you have it now. It's very Breath of the Wild core, not gonna lie. And that's all we're getting right now? That's fine by me. That was a huge plot twist. Well, to be fair, he did say he was gonna do something completely different than the Breath of the Wild Tears of the Kingdom for the next Legend of Zelda, and, well, and it comes out September. I'm still not done with Tears of the Kingdom, by the way. <laughs> so, if I get to this game, it's gonna be a while, and it's probably gonna be on the Switch successor, too. <laughs> oh, God, I forgot about this game. How do they keep coming out with these? Why do they keep coming out with these? Didn't they turn the Just Dance games into basically a subscription service? Like, what's the point of making new games every year at this point? Yeah, this legit just looks like all of the other Just Dance games that I've ever played. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Almost? Next will be our last announcement. Imagine Please it's like a, a Smash reveal or some shit like that. Well, I don't believe it's gonna be a Smash reveal. Hold up. Hold up. Is this Metroid Prime 4? Oh, damn. I am hoping to God this is Metroid Prime 4. It's either that or this is footage of a remade Prime 2 or Prime 3. I, I literally have not seen enough gameplay of it to justify a, a clear response from me. Either way, you Metroid people are eating. <laughs> you got a new 2D Metroid. You already got a remake of Metroid. Oh my God. And now you have Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> well, shoot. Now I got to play this series. <laughs> God. That's actually crazy. That, I almost can't believe it. That game's been in development for like seven years. Oh my God. Shit, now I'm getting hyped. And now I really want to play Metroid Prime 1 because this looks dope as hell, not gonna lie. Oh boy, okay. All right, interesting. In the morning, I don't have all of my thoughts mixed together properly, so I just start spouting the same words over and over. Well. Here's what I thought. The pros, what I like. Mario and Luigi getting a new game. 
<laughs> after so long nintendo switch sports got a basketball mode i'm very hyped for that i love switch sports i don't care what anybody says that shit is I, it, it's gas there was a lot of jrpgs and like one farming slash life simulator that's kind of expected i think nintendo was saving a lot of their big guns for the switch successor but apparently metroid prime metroid prime 4 is just uh, is coming <laughs> it's coming and then of course getting a new legend of zelda announcement literally like a year after tears of the kingdom was released that's insane to me not gonna lie but Dude, I am so happy for you Metroid fans. God, you guys are eating good. And I'm so sorry for the DK fans that they only got a remaster of the Wii. I'm sorry for laughing, but oh my god. Overall, pretty, pretty freaking good direct. I don't know if I'd say it's as good as the one with Super Mario Brothers Wonder in it, but this is still really good. I'd give it like an, I don't know, eight out of 10. I really thought Nintendo was gonna save a lot of their big guns for the Switch successor. Ugh, now I'm wondering how crazy the Switch successor's launch will be. Like, is it going to launch with a new Smash? Imagine. That's it. As always, stay positive, have confidence, utilize your passion, believe in yourself, and be yourself. See ya.